sometimes I feel like we should like start our videos off like Jojo Siwa. Hi guys, like, you know, like because nothing's popping except for this pussy. Hi guys, I am Gabe. And I am Shell. And welcome to God Awful. Like, and um, so today we're doing uh, the giveaway we had posted on Facebook. And thanks to Shell because nobody commented on mine. Um, those shady bitches. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, so we had um, some of our friends or fans or whatever um, comment some questions for Q&A. And everybody that commented got their name put into the drawing for either a free photo shoot, a free promotional video, or a guest spot on the show in our next episode. Um, so we've written down all those questions and thrown them in a hat, and we will be going through them. Courtesy of my mom. This is her Mad Hatter hat. Thanks, Mom, for the hat. Here, show you go first. Okay, I'll go first. If you were a cocktail, what would the ingredients be? Uh, it would be um, Malibu rum with um, a Jumex strawberry banana. That'd be my cocktail. Yours is so fancy. Why do you feel like that represents you? Mm, why, like, why? Just so proper. Um, because Jumex is like really good, and Malibu is also like I don't. Really, I was thinking of like how a drink would taste. Oh uh, well, I, you're supposed to do like on based on your personality. Because I'm mine, person based on my personality, would be MD Twenty Twenty with Boone's Farm and a little bit of cigarette ash. Okay, so if we're talking like actual personalities, <laughs> well then. Yeah, heavy on the Malibu and heavy on the Jumix. All right, good for you. You yeah. sweet. Yeah, sweet, and then it's like it'll sneak up on you, and you're just like. Ugh. That kind of mm -hmm. is Gabe, yeah. yeah. Yeah, like you're, you're like, hmm, I really like this, but after like four, you're like, I need to go lay down. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get out of here. Yeah. Okay, your turn. If God Awful was a band, what genre would it be? Um, sad indie pop, uh, pop rock. Sad indie pop rock. Yeah. I could see that. That's that's what I that's the genre that I would pick. Kind of like a glamorous <laughs> pop punk, right? Yeah, like um, Lana Del Rey meets The Runaways, uh, meets Megan The Stallion, you know, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, also with uh, Beach Bunny. So. Beach Bunny. Yeah. A lot of indie, a lot of rap, a lot of sad. Like crying while like throwing your ass. <laughs> that, and you're talking about your personality again. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> but I feel like this is our personality though. Yeah, the, the show is basically just our personalities thrown together. And our personalities aren't that different, so. Yeah. It's just us. Terrible. <sighs> if <Drug>. I... <laughs> just, what were you gonna say? Nothing, it's over. Domino's or Pizza Hut? Um, Pizza Hut because Domino's uh, supported Trump. I didn't even know that, but I picked Pizza Hut because of that crust. The crust do be hidden, aren't you? They do be hidden. Those breadsticks. Oh, damn it. Oh, you warm them up a little bit to use the sauce? Yeah. Oh, yes. What's your pet peeve? Um, what's your pet peeve? I have a lot. I think my one of my biggest pet peeves is someone, and Gabe, I love you, but you do this all the time. Someone trying to talk to me while loud music is playing. Either turn down the music or shut the fuck up because we can't do both. Okay, but you know, like, whenever we're listening to music, like, on the freeway, it's because, like, the wind, too. It's not just the music. Yeah, but when you start talking, you should... Well, I guess you do that. You turn it down, like, when you start talking in the car. See? But not here at the house. If we're in the room and you're, like, blasting a song and I'm trying to talk to you, and, like, you're fine with it, but I'm freaking out because I'm trying to be loud in the song and the song's so fucking loud. <laughs> Then say turn it down. <laughs> be like, hey, can you turn it down real quick? Be like, or grab the remote, like, hey. I can't ask her. <laughs> She's been here long enough to do that. Yeah, I know, honestly, but <laughs> I don't know. I just, maybe I like being annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> What's yours? I just like to be angry. <laughs> I like to let it really simmer sometimes. Um, My pet peeve is, uh, one thing, well, I guess sort of, Leaving your clothes like in the restroom, like that's like take your clothes out, oh. like because when it's like left in there, like and like I clean it and like nobody wants to take care of it and like 
whatever, I just like want to throw it away and I'm just like Haven't you? Yeah, I have. Yeah. So like, if you're watching this and you've lost some clothes. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> what age were you when you discovered your attraction to the same sex? Um I guess like I always like Loki always knew, but uh, I didn't really come to terms with it until like my senior year. So Damn. What was your first like little like am I? Um in like Walmart and Target, like in the underwear aisle, <laughs> like like everybody else's just like just like hmm 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 You know, and just like I'm glad I am getting a pack of these to take home. <laughs> Damn. Mine was, um, so I started listening to Avril Lavigne and I was like, I want to be, I want her to be my boyfriend. Cause I was like pretty young and I didn't really understand. And then I would like, so I was like, what, 12 or 13. And I would walk in the halls in middle school and like, look at a guy and be like, well, he's cute or whatever. And then look at a girl and be like, well, she's cute too. I didn't know that you could be bi. I thought you were only gay or straight. Did y'all go to college? Um, I did not go to I college. I did. School and we're in the me. same boat. <laughs> <laughs> and we're doing, like, doing the exact same. Yeah. <laughs> so y'all tell me how the uh, college system is helping y'all. <laughs> it's not. So, yeah, I went. I have mm. a bachelor's degree in communications um, and media. But I'm blaming the pandemic. But it's really my lack of experience. I haven't found a job or anything yet. So yeah, I went to college, but at what cost? Uh, fuck. When they were like, when they asked me, fuck, what is it? What's the, what's the other word for a lawyer? Attorney. Attorney. Yeah, whenever they were like, do you need an attorney? I'm like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> like, really? Need, yeah, they were like, do you need an attorney? And I was like, a lawyer? <laughs> and they were like, do you need an attorney? I'm like, I don't know. I guess I'll get one later. If I need it. <laughs> And then like I got out and mom, she was like, did you get a lawyer? And I was like, I was like, well, I didn't know I needed one. And she was like, well, did they ask for an attorney? I was like, that's the same thing. <laughs> Game! So I did not go to college. <laughs> Back to that. Okay. Which mean girl's character are you? I am a mix of Regina George and Karen. Who's Karen? The dumb one, Amanda Seyfried. Oh, you really are. You really are. You're, you very much have, not that you're like mean, but you just have leadership skills of Regina George. I have the mean girl like attitude, but I don't have the mean girl like to actually go through with stuff. Yeah. Everybody always assumes, what's the golf bitch's name? Which, uh, which one? Oh, uh, uh, Janice Ian. Janet, yeah. I feel like everybody assumes that I'm Janice, but I'm actually the dude, the gay dude. <laughs> like, that's way more accurate for me. Very much that. <laughs> I, I can see it. You don't even go here. <laughs> With the glasses? <laughs> okay. She gave me foot cream. <laughs> Is that a face cream? Okay. What's the scariest movie you've seen that you would, rec that you would recommend? Uh, I think it was called Terror. Terror? Something like that. It's like with the black and white clown. Oh, I know what you're I talking about. I hated that movie so much. It's really like dumb. <laughs> it scared me mostly because like I had a dream of something. Like I had a really messed up dream of something that he did in that movie. So it really scared me after. Was it the? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and I was like, so like having the dream and then seeing that like yeah. actually like in a movie, I was like. It was terrifying. So that's the movie. I think that's what it is. something terrifying or terror, whatever. Terrifier or something. Yeah. Is it on Netflix? Um, I don't remember what it was on, but I think it was Netflix or Hulu, one of those. Uh, so terrifying. the scary my uh, look. <laughs> so my favorite scary movie was As Above, So Below. Because it, like, when I saw it in theaters, it really freaked me out. Like, I almost started having a panic attack. But I rewatched it recently, and it's kind of cheesy. <clears throat> so, I don't know. Also, a good one, though, is Grave Encounters. I think that's a pretty genuinely scary movie. I mean, you have to, like, lift logic. Use your imagination. That's why too many people hate horror movies. Just because they're like, this isn't how it would be. Yeah, it's a fucking movie. Do you want to have kids? Why or why not? This is a tough question. Um... Yes and no, and well, I would like a kid, but then also at the same time, like, um, I can hardly take care of myself, 
And I know my mom's gonna be like, well, you have us and everything, but yeah, um, no. I don't know. I really go back and forth with it. Like when I see a cute baby, I'm like, oh, but then when I think about being a mother, like being a mom, like he said, I can't take care of myself right now. And also I feel like I just don't have that motherly instinct. I'm scared to drop it. Do you know how much like time like I'd be like in the hospital? I don't know what's going on. He just has like, gas, sir. <laughs> like, okay. Come back like an hour or two later. What's going on now? He still has gas. <laughs> <laughs> Did you even do anything? <laughs> like, okay. So should I stay here overnight? <laughs> <laughs> I just want you to monitor him. <laughs> What's your biggest turn on? Well, I think just like being funny, like it's just like, if you're funny, like I'm wet. Like if you're making me laugh, I'm just like. <laughs> you know? Will you put it away, Gabe? Good lord. It is away, but no. <laughs> yeah, I kind of get you, yeah. Yeah, I'm just like. <laughs> if you can make her giggle, you can make her jiggle. <laughs> ew, 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 cut, cause I'm fat. No! <laughs> I think kind of saying being funny or um, like if we were like walking and like a bear attacked us and you like beat the bear up with your bare hands to protect me. Like that's pretty hot. Just like real manly. Yeah. But as for like women, like literally anything turns me on. Like a bitch could sneeze. And, <gasps> I think for women, like is that like high ponytail? Just like, that turns you on? Well, like in a woman, yeah, I like that. Like, I'm just like, wow, that's so nice. Really? Yeah. That's so specific. Have you ever slept with someone who had a, I don't know if we can say it. Uh, micro P? Micro P. If you know what I mean, like a micro P, the thing. Yes, my ex-boyfriend. Both? Yes. Micro? Yes. I thought they were packing. No. Who told you that? I thought you did. No. Who else would tell me? No. Oh, know. I didn't realize that. Yeah. It was, yeah. I only had one ex that had a, a I'm micro. all upside down. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the outline through his pants before we ever slept together, and then when we did sleep together, I was like, why were you lying? What's What'd the truth? Yeah, what was in there, huh? Little little fucking cocktail shrimp, shrimp cocktail. <laughs> Give me some some cocktail sauce dipping. How would y'all meet? I feel like we've told this a few times, but uh, we met in high school in history class next to each other. We were passing notes to one another, and as much as we know I, that I am dyslexic and can't spell or read, I accidentally said waffle. Yep, and then he got the nickname waffle for a solid what? Four years. Four years. Four years of waffle. I thought you liked me at first. Oh, no. You didn't? Like, not like Not that. even a little bit? No, not like that. Was I ugly? No, it's just... Am I ugly now? No. I can't believe you just said I'm fat and ugly. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Well, it's fine. I didn't like you either. I just thought you liked me. And I was like, oh, I'm going to have to break his little heart. <laughs> so you got this big ass, like... <laughs> I'm just like, hey, sis. I never awkward. thought that I would be friends with you this long. I'm really glad that we are, but I did not see it coming. Um, neither did I, but like I said, I had to bring somebody from, out of high school. Somebody's coming down with me and I choose you because I feel like we're going to have a downfall. <laughs> like, <laughs> we're, we both have a downfall anyway, so might as well be together. Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> okay, what superpower would you want? I would like to be able to teleport. Yeah, I see how practical that would be. Teleport inside the bank vault and then just teleport home or I've always dreamt of having the power to teleport other things So when I'm at the mall, I can just like touch a product and it will like teleport to my house Like ice because like everybody goes with like the flying and like flying. Yeah, that would be pretty cool But like everything like can you imagine your face just like yeah, you don't look pretty whenever you're doing it even though I think I would like be No, I'm not like my hair is gonna be like and like I No, I'm not gonna like cute but I would look cute if I have like ice house. Like, chew, chew. <laughs> like, could you imagine? Just like, oh, you need that chill. Hang on a second. Like, <laughs> stick my finger in their drink. Like, <laughs> it's cold now. It's also ruined. <laughs> Did you wash your hands? We're in a pandemic here. <laughs> okay. When are y'all's birthdays? Uh, mine is in October. It is October twenty eighth. I am Scorpio, so I know that is why everybody hates me. I am also a Scorpio, November 3rd. Favorite color, red. Um, a mix between turquoise and black. 
Turquoise is a good color. I love that color. What did you want to be uh, when you grew up? When you grew up, grew up. I wanted to be a lot of things. I wanted to be a vet. I wanted to be an actress. I wanted to be a counselor. And now I just want to be able to pay my bills. Um, I wanted to be uh, needed. Turns out that's not possible. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I kind of wanted to be uh, a vet, but then I heard that you had to like put them down as well. So yeah, like, no. I don't think I'm going to do that. Same, exactly. So that's why I just... But then I wanted to be an artist, and uh, turns out I just suck at it. So, so what do you want to be now? Um, validated, mostly. Well, you're fucking up. You're not getting it. Sorry. Sorry, boo. <laughs> <laughs> What's the capital of West Virginia? Would you rather be a vampire or a werewolf? <laughs> I'd rather be a vampire for obvious emo kid reasons. Yeah, I'd rather be a vampire as well. Yeah, live forever. You get you get, uh, can attract people with your pheromones and shit. Yeah, maybe I can finally have like a relationship that'll last. Like eternity, because yeah. you're immortal. Yeah. We'll see. But how many times? Okay, Alex commented this one. I don't know if I'm wording it right. How many times of dying Gabe's beard would it take to fry it? If Gabe's beard didn't grow so fast, it would already be fried. The only reason it's not is because he's able to shave it and let it grow back. Yeah, I um, accidentally, like, I had to trim up here again, like, earlier, because like, uh -huh. it was already getting, like, matching in. Because I just trim up all of this, and it was, like, it grows so fast. It like, does. by next week, it'll, like, already be fine. Full beard. Yeah. Wish my actual hair grew like that, but we're here. If you could be friends with any celebrities, who would you pick and why? Um, I would pick Betty White as my celebrity to be friends with, but like, not now, like maybe whenever in her, uh, the Golden Girls era, and then like, you know, age with her, like, with the oldest of friends. <laughs> <laughs> we go way back. Yeah. Um, I would pick, um, Dave Chappelle. Because he's really laid back and he's hilarious. Shell, have you ever tried to pee while standing up? You know what? <laughs> I have. Go on. I have. I peed standing up a lot of times. I think one time I pooped standing up. Gabe, do you have? Do you condition your beard? Um, I do condition my beard. That's so weird that you pull a card. Like, yeah, right? Like, that was okay. perfect. <laughs> um, they like the only two cards that are addressed like that, too. Oh, really? Yeah. That's so weird. Anyway, um, whenever it's like this, I don't. I just basically just wash my face. But um, whenever it is, like, bigger and, like, I want to look like a lumberjack, then I just do condition it. Mm -hmm. Ooh, what is your spirit animal? You remember that video of that fat chihuahua with the Mexican flag on his back trying to run up the stairs, but he falls? That. Um, I think my spirit animal is, um, you know, you know, you, whenever you see, like, roadkill, you, you, did you see that, that with the that, uh, raccoon with the balloon in its hand? Yes. That's, that's my spirit animal. <laughs> <laughs> that, like, dead but still alive. Yes, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Oh my god, that is perfect. <laughs> How was your childhood? That's when I was writing that down, I was like, this is a deep ass question. Yeah, you actually gotta read all of these questions before. Yeah, I did. So I did. You, so you prepare. No. <laughs> so how was your This is actually like a therapist session. So show, tell me, how was your childhood? It was really, 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 really bad, but not as bad as I think. Mm. You know what I mean? Is that how you yeah, because like my like parent, oh shit, I don't want to talk too much shit. I had a bad childhood, but when my grandma took me under her wing, uh, like I had a pretty dope childhood, so it's kind of like, it was rough at first, but I should be thankful because after that it was pretty good. Thank you for sharing that. Next time on Oprah, we will be. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about yours, Gabe. Anyway, my childhood was really great thanks to my parents because I, thanks to them, they had kids as kids. So my dad like was able to, I don't know, it's like growing up with a teenage dad. <laughs> like, that sounds what? dope. You are so lucky to have your parents. Yeah, my parents are great. I'm lucky to have your parents. You are. 
How often do you, do y'all hang out? A couple times a week when we can. Yeah. And it's usually to work too. Yeah. To but I feel like work. I definitely see you at least one day every week. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, like either one day, one day out of the week or more. Yeah. At least it like, it's either once or like up to three times a week. Yeah. That we see each other. But I remember yeah. for a while there, I was with you like every single day. Like I woke up, went to Gabe's, went home, woke up, went to Gabe's, went home. Yeah. Oh, whenever I lived down the street from. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. We were like hanging out like. I'd wake like days off that uh, like I just wake up and then you'd be there. Hey, <laughs> like, like oh hey, how'd you get in? Like go oh, through the window, like just the one window that I had. Like, I just and, fell in. <clears throat> you thirsty? <laughs> <laughs> Lands on my bed like <laughs> like hey what's up? Like well, dude, one time <laughs> I don't know if you remember this. I went, I was texting him. And I was like, uh, no, okay, I was texting him, I went to his house, he was asleep, I opened the door and everything, and he didn't wake up, so I got in bed, and then I was texting him, and I was like, oh, do you want to hang out today, or whatever, and he's next to me, but he's facing the other way, and he's like, yeah, sure, come through, and I was like, I'm here. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. That's whenever I lived with my parents, still. Was in it? The, in the back room. Yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. <laughs> okay, go. Okay. What's the craziest thing y'all have done together? Ooh, um, and a, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm, huh. Craziest thing we've done together? We probably should have discussed that one. We definitely um, should have talked about it. Because there are definitely some things that we would consider craziest, but there's no way in this fucking lifetime we would ever say it on camera. Craziest thing that we've done together is whenever we were hanging out with those guys at this bar and we went to go hang out at their apartment and one of the guys fell off the stair like we we're like in the spiral stair like in the apartments like the stairs and he was sitting on the railing and like fell like down to like the next yeah, floor. Yeah and I get <sighs> the craziest thing we witnessed together. We didn't even like, really know these guys like we had just met them and then for some reason we were like well we don't want the party to stop so we went to the hospital where he was at. Yeah we were actually we were just like, oh yeah, we'll spend the rest of our night in a hospital. Sure, why not? We were so stupid. It was ridiculous. <laughs> it was so pointless. And then we what? We just ended up leaving, right? Yeah. We're like, well, we kind of wanted to make sure he was cool because like, did it, did we take him to the hospital? Did I don't we think. Him off? I don't think we did. No, we took the guy, the, the friend though. Yeah. We took him to the hospital, and we're like, so what's so now that you know that your friend's okay, what are we gonna do? <laughs> it's like 3 a.m. and we're like, the night is young! Okay, favorite animal. Mine is a tie between a bat and a cat. Is it like, can we say insect too? Because my favorite's a bee. Bees are my favorite. Yeah, sure, we'll insect too. Insect to like, animal slash insect, I go with bee. It's my favorite. I love it. Bees always remind me of you now. Least favorite candle scent. Uh, I hate anything black cherry. I hate those like, the uh, whiskey and like leather and tobacco scents like the uh, douchebag smells yeah I'm like why I was like why do you need um, a scent that smells like <laughs> dried up cow skin at three o'clock in the morning in your own home you want to light a leather candle it's not to set the mood that is not a mood setting candle what's your biggest turn off my biggest turn off is when you're hooking up with someone and okay this is the the area of women's pleasure and they're like or they just oh, start yeah. immediately going fast as hell it's like bro you have to like work up to that like what are you doing you're gonna be friction burn i hate that it sets the whole mood off the whole rest of the day i don't even what's your zodiac sign uh well we said it earlier that uh we're both scorpios yes we uh, are how long have y'all known each other um going on 11 years right because we met in 2010. Oh shit. Really? Yeah. And it's 2021, yeah. What? So this year it'll be like a. Wait, fall of this year it'll be 11 years. Yeah. What do you do to relieve stress? Masturbate. Me too. Really? Yeah, every time I get stressed out, I'm like, I'm just gonna take a hot bath and rub one out. Well, actually, no, I, I don't. I. It's what Why would you let me say that <laughs> and then go back? One thing to like I actually do is just like like have like background noise like the TV playing and then like like old reruns of uh King of the Hill or old episodes of Bob's Burgers that I already watched 
and just like be on my phone and just like chill. Just, like, Dude, that's what I was doing last night. It was so nice. Yeah, it's like the perfect thing to do. Like, cause you're just like, oh, I have no care in the world, but then like everything's just like I do. There's a lot of stuff I should be doing. Pretend and then, I don't. Yeah, it's nice to pretend. Okay, so now, thank you for sitting through our Q&A. We hope you learned a little something about us, maybe that you didn't even want to know. We are going to be doing the drawing for the giveaway now. Yes. So, as we said, everybody that commented a question got their name put in for the drawing. Um, whoever wins it will be awarded their choice of either a free photo shoot, a free promotional video, or a guest spot on our show. Some of the contestants live out of state from us. So we're not too sure how that will work out if one of them is picked, so. So yeah, we finished these and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in all of the names uh, of all the people that commented and just gonna Let's rattle them around, up. show, rattle them and everything and I'm gonna go ahead and pick the winning one. Ready? Are you feeling? Okay. I'll tell you when yeah. Okay. okay, stop. Okay. And the winner is... Chaton Johnson, that okay. is my, basically my sister-in-law. She lives in another state. But we can figure something out. You're the big winner. Congratulations. Will... Sorry, I like messed up your name. I I can't... think I messed it up too. Well, either way. I call her Cece. Cece, Cece, Cece you actually we won. We love you. Well, I love you. He loves but you too. I, I do love you. Like, I haven't met you, but I do. She's great. So, She's uh, so awesome. Congratulations. Uh, so, we uh, hope you guys enjoyed like all of our Q&As at Shovel Us. Uh, Shell's friends were able to gather. Yes, thank you everybody who commented and participated. Um, and Cece, like, we'll go ahead and be in contact with you. So, bye. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, don't forget, like, subscribe, uh, share, um, do don't anything you want to do. Okay. <laughs> do anything you want to do. Uh, be a grown up. Like, be a grown up. That's the message for today. <laughs> okay, we love you. Bye, guys. Bye.